Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Max Happy Homestead. Today, we are actually just going to kind of finish up on some little chores that we did not get done. And you can see the last two videos, you see we've been very busy uh, trying to get the transitional things done prior to the meat chickens coming and the coolness, the stuff planted. So we're just, just trying to get some of that done. Um, we have got to move the cows one last time prior to us going to um, the Stivers. We, we're actually going on a trip to Tennessee very, very soon. And while we're there, we're going over to the Stivers so we can uh, hang out with them because we got to really spend some time with them uh, when we went to HOA. So before we do that, though, we've got to move the cows. We're going to move them to a paddock that is still summer grass. We're going to feed them some hay. That way they'll have uh, something to kind of nibble on because again we're trying to let our ryegrass really grow good i'll show you some of the ryegrass updates because they are looking really good but um we're gonna move them and i'm gonna probably do a little stanchion training with Allie uh today so we'll see what happens there too so let's get them moved and we will see how the day goes cows are moved we're gonna do a little stanchion training we've been doing stanchion training as y'all have seen in a lot of videos with Allie. uh she's fisting to calf hopefully not <laughs> before we get back from this trip but um, she is going to calf soon, so we're going to go ahead and do a little stanchion training on her again. That way she is getting prepared to be another family milk cow for us. So we do need to get the charger on there. I don't know if I need to not have that done or what, but the cows are over there and I do not have the charger on. They've been good. They shouldn't test it. But as soon as I say that, I'll be chasing cows this afternoon. What do you think, Ellie? All right, we did the stanchion training. She did great as always. So we're hoping to uh, go ahead and get her back with the rest of them. Come on. Come on. Ellie, uh -uh, don't get away. Come on. Come on. I don't have the rope up, so I'm just kind of letting her free wall. So hopefully she'll come on. Come on, girl. There she goes. Good training for good cows. All right, yeah, she did good. We've got them moved back. She's back over with the rest of the cows that are here. I'm getting their water bucket moved now, their trough. I just want to show you, I don't know if you can tell on the video. See those patches of green starting to come up right here? Looking great. That's the ryegrass. All right, let's look over here. This is not planted. This is the one that we talked about leaving uh, just completely for winter. It will basically turn brown because it'll die but ultimately this will be my spring coming back and of course the one we're in now. Okay, you see over here, right here on that line, that's another paddock planted. So they're both doing really good, growing really good. I'll show you the other side. The other side, some of the turnips are starting to really come up, so that's doing really good. So we're gonna get them moved here. You see there's not, there's a little grass right there in front. Not a lot of grass because it's, it's pretty much played out because it's, it's chilly and it's supposed to. So we'll put hay on them. They'll have hay for the next, uh, this next week basically and we'll be leaving a week from today going up to tennessee and kentucky to the stavers harvest celebration so needless to say we'll keep them in this this temporary fencing because i'm home and then once we actually go to um you know out of town we tend to not want to ever have them in temporary fencing while we're gone just because we're so far away so we will actually take them and put them back in this paddock right behind me. And you see it's, it's pretty much eight down right now, but it'll have a whole week just to kind of sit here, uh, make sure there's no, you know, bad organisms or bad fungus or bad bacteria in the ground. We'll just let it rest. Um, again, then once we're back, I know we're talking weeks, but then once we're back, then they'll start on the, the actual winter rotations and the, the grass rotations that will be full and lush by that time. So I can put them in here now. They would eat this down like crazy because it's it's only about this tall, two to four inches, which is the ice cream grass for them. They love it, but I need it to grow a little bit more so the other parts can get thick, it gets lush. We're gonna put hay in them. Before they move into them, I will put hay to where they eat hay, try to fill up on it, then move in here. If you put them on this fresh grass, they will eat to a point where they'll almost make themselves sick or have scars because ryegrass can give them scars if they eat too much. So. Almost got it done. We're gonna put the water trough, clean it out, put a little apple cider vinegar in it for them. Also some uh, Shakely's H2 we put in there just for deworming and we will get finished with this part. And then the last thing we gotta do really for the cows is just get some hay. 
and we'll put some hay out here and let them just graze a little bit this here and then put some hay in here and then they'll be set for the next week. Look how awesome this is. You know, we just planted this. Remember, there's our peas. Just planted all these rows in mustards and collards. And look at this. Look how great they're already starting to come up. It just says, put me in a bowl with some cornbread. That's what that says. Right, here we go again. Look at that. All right, starting to come up. And these are just, these two right here were just from uh, these four rows, basically, these two sets were just from, man, what, four or five days ago? Look at that. It shows the nutrients in this ground. It's great. Now, I might have to do, they're heavy right all through here now. They're they're a little, no, they're starting to come up here. Okay, they're starting to come up. Just a little bit slower on these top sides. Now, these, remember, these were the two rows we planted in the main last vlog that we did. Now, of course, they're not coming up. But you know what? I'm, I'm really happy with those coming up so far. So let's go get the water done. Okay. You look. I don't know if you can see it. But this is how close wildlife gets to the house. Right, right there. You can see it's moving. It's right beyond that post. I'm going to try to walk a little closer. There's three or four deer just standing there. Uh, that's where I hunt. So you see how, even though right next to the cows, just how good wildlife comes. So I'm going to throw this hay to the, the cows. Let's see if we can get some better pictures. She just stands there. There's two does just right there, just hanging out. We came to the plot the other day when we were just checking the grass coming up, and it was, uh, we had about six to seven deer between there and in the woods. So I'm hoping this is going to be a good hunting season. But uh, she's looking pretty. She's a smaller doe, uh, but she had a big, big doe with her a while ago. So very, very happy. Right now, she is, I mean, I could not take her with the bow. It's bow season here, but I could not take her with the bow from right here. Now, I could easily take her with with one of my rifles. Um, she's probably 100 yards. No, she, she's probably, mm, I'd say, 80 to 100 yards from me. Let's see if we can get a little closer. All right, she's probably... 50 yards from us now. Let me show you. I mean, don't get wrong. They're not pets. But look, look, look what Harley's in. <laughs> she's just in a, a bright, bright shirt. But look, she's just standing there. And like I said, she had a big doe with her. And then there was a few more little... Uh, yearlings there yesterday so you see the ryegrass is starting to come up all right here but it's not fully up but she's going to town on something so i've got turnips and uh some winter peas all that kind of growing out there so she's just having a good old time man oh man i love this time of year uh we stood there and watched her for a long time and it's getting dark, so we're gonna go in, and in but it shows just how uh, we can be provided for, not only with our beef sitting right here and our milk sitting right here, but right over here, a whole nother set of meat that's just walking. I mean, she's still right out there just walking around. That's blessings, blessings and, and provisions. So, uh, wonderful, wonderful thing. So, we're gonna end this vlog. It was just a short vlog. Uh, we kinda got some, I get to talk about a little beer, but uh, can't beat that. Got to see some updates on the between uh, mustards and collards and lettuce and of course the grass over here is doing so good um but we're going to end oh she's still there she's still there but we got some hay out for the cows just so they can have a little something to munch on tonight you see how good dairy breeds you know normally you see their triangle on their their right and left back quarters so even and of course this is a beef steer here but you see how good and full they are rotational grazing even in the winter they look 
very, very healthy, very, very good, very pleased with how good the cows have done on really no medication. The only one that's had medication this last few months has been Elsa when she had to um, get, uh, get that shot for her little pneumonia that she had when we were drying her up. So, deer's still hanging out watching us. He's a fan. She might, she may be subscribed to the Max Abbey Homestead. All right, we're ending this video. What do you say? Happy Homestead, y'all.